So, where am I? Well, today I'm at the Black Diamond Cemetery, which is in Black Diamond, Washington, which supposedly is one of the most haunted places in Washington. Um, the cemetery was built in, 18, in the 1870s, and a lot of the locals were uh, Irish and Welsh, of Irish and Welsh descent. Um, so it's about sundown, and a lot of a lot of things that are reported here are like um, swinging lanterns. It's really smoky. Um, whistles, uh, strange fog, which kind of looks like it's showing up, and a white horse that rides through the cemetery. So that's kind of interesting. Um, I don't know how much stuff I'll actually be able to get here, but I also got an apple. I got an apple. I'm gonna lay that out to see what happens. There's also, oh, well, that's kind of interesting, the little, the wind thing somewhere here. There's a, I got a little bit of coinage, some coins, and we're just gonna kind of see what happens here. Maybe do some, uh, like, electronic voice phenomena recording. A little bit of, see what else we got. But it's really nice out here. Cemetery looks nice, so I guess we'll just have to see what happens. Um, yeah. So I walked towards the south side of the cemetery because I had read reports that on the south side there was lights seen um, over here in these the back forest part so huh I some stuff moving so I'm gonna put an apple because I also read that there was a horse in the cemetery and I'm also gonna put some coins on that box right there um, and then see what happens uh, maybe later I'll come back and get it. There is some dogs kind of barking everywhere. There's a lot of dogs and there's residential. There's houses on both sides. So I'm probably not going to stay that long. But I'm going to put this over here. Like that. And I'm going to put the coins. Just to see what happens if anything happens. Um, so yeah, like I said, this is located on... Uh, the corner of Morgan Street and Cemetery Street in Black Diamond. And it's supposed to be one of the most haunted places in Washington, so it's kind of interesting. So, from when I entered the cemetery over here, till I recorded the stuff with the apple over here, I'm not sure what happened, but I lost all the footage. So I had gone I actually walked through the park and recorded, but I lost all the stuff in between the parking lot and here. Um, there is a lot of weird noises coming from the woods, and there is some commotion, and it's not even fully dark yet. Um, yeah. So I don't know if you guys heard that. But over here, there's like squeaking noises. Hear that? I, I don't know. There's also somebody hammering, so I don't exactly know what's going on over there. So I guess just walk around. Hopefully I don't lose any more footage. And uh, we'll just kind of see how it how it goes. So, um, we're walking around and from one of the reports I had read, it said that some activity, the light activity was viewed from the Morgan place marker uh, tombstone right here. But there might be several Morgan tombstones, but that would mean that the report of the lights from the report I read from somebody, they were standing here looking this direction and saw lanterns because like there's lantern scene sometimes and they're usually in bursts of five like five lanterns and then for around five minutes um, sadly this Jones uh, headstone has actually 
I don't know if it got vandalized or fell. Uh, that's too bad. That's it's like a really heavy piece. Um, so yeah, there is a haze coming in. Like in some reports, there was haze noted, but that might just be the area. The area causes a lot of haze. There's also a lot of dogs, which I don't know. It sounds like the dogs are almost loose, like because I hear them moving, which is kind of interesting. What's this? All the smoke is stuck here. Yeah, there's also smoke. Like, smoke is stuck in this one spot. And look, it's. I think it's coming from over there. Maybe somebody's burning, or maybe it is a strange haze that is coming in. So, so I actually did lose the footage, like I said, from the entrance all the way to the back. I'm not sure what was happening. But I already swung by this uh, in memory of those who served and there's the flagpole. Uh, we're also within, I think it's within 10 or 15 miles of the National Cemetery, right? So we're pretty close to the National Cemetery. And that smoke is very much coming directly from right there, isn't it? Look at that. There is like a weird smoke and a fog rolling in. And the moon's starting to come out. And it's starting to get a little darker. Let me get some shots of the area here and kind of show you some more. I'm able to walk around. So here's the map. The camera is a little blue, but it's also getting a little dark. And as you can see, there's a cemetery, there's the road, and then there's trees, which is back here where the lights were seen. And then there's also, it says the city hall is somewhere here. This is the map I drew. And then houses, but there's actually houses on this side and a little bit on this side. And I'm assuming the city hall is over there somewhere. And then the parking lot here. Um, the cemetery was also made into a, it got put on the historical places registry on April 21st, 2000. So since 2000, it's been on the national registry. So that's kind of interesting. All right, let's walk around a little bit, I guess. Which one, like over here? So a lot of these graves seem like they're from around the, what, like the 1900s and so on. And then a little bit into the century. There's a few of these actually like um, fenced in graves, which are really nice. Like this one. Um, The, the cemetery is actually really pretty as well. Look, and there's more of that smoke. Let's go look at this one over here. Look at that. That one's really pretty there. Has a little gate. It's really nice. So in the one we were looking at, like I had said, there was a lot of Irish and Welsh people um, buried here, but camera looks a little blue, but inside there it kind of looks maybe like Latin or maybe not necessarily Spanish, but some type of Latin based language. Um, que, but it's spelled like instead of Spanish que, it's spelled Q U I, so I'm not sure what that would be. So that's pretty cool. It's definitely very smoky in here now. Um, I guess we could, we'll probably swing around here in a sec. Let's actually head back to the, actually we'll walk to the corner. We'll check out the corner over here. And then go back to the apple and the change that I put out. And see if anything uh, has happened. There's some mushrooms there. The there could be some unmarked graves. You never know with these old cemeteries. They could have stuff going back there. It could even go to the parking lot. It could even be over here because there's a road. You never know. They could have moved, relocated some. I'm not aware of any being relocated, but it's possible. So down here looks maybe like there's some newer 
like a newer section. Um, I didn't realize I walked up onto a ledge, but I did. They have a very nice memorial here that I really like. It's pretty dark. Then we got some stuff over in this corner here. There's a tree losing a bunch of leaves. Um, something I'm having trouble with, besides my white balance being really hard to set, is um, well my battery is actually already started to drain my brand new battery. Um, and this is still an active cemetery. There's actually more lots down here. Um, yeah, so here's the back side again, which is getting really dark now. See, there's the sun went down. Uh, there's the back side from before where... Hmm. You hear that? So yeah, I have had a little bit of camera trouble out here. Camera's getting a little hard. It's not focusing very well. Let me see. That might be in focus. Hmm. I, I figure let's do a little bit of so I'm on the back side where the lanterns were before. It's pretty dark now. And I keep hearing stuff. I'm pretty sure I just heard some breathing. Okay, so I'm on that back section. Camera is acting up a little bit. So we're on the back section where I heard some noise and I also from those reports that here's where the lights were. So I'm going to do a little bit of I'm going to ask some questions and then I'll give some pauses um, and then we'll go check the apple and the twin change. So here we go. Okay, I was going to ask some questions, but Okay, I better. I hear somebody walking. Hello. Is anyone there? Okay, it's getting kind of warm actually. My face just started to heat up. What's your name? Okay. I'm actually gonna walk away. I'm gonna walk away from over there. Let me turn up the brightness a little bit. Okay, the brightness controls are not really working. Okay, so I'm walking away from the back. Um, yeah, it was kind of strange actually. My face started to heat up a lot. And then I definitely heard something walking through the woods, which wasn't exactly what I thought I was going to hear. Like, I actually heard steps. I did a few questions, some really bad questions. Uh, okay, I'm back at the apple. Which looks fine, nothing's done to the apple. And the coins. Um, well. I'm pretty sure I put four. Four coins. Um, and I only got three. So, I don't exactly know what to think on that one. Um, 
Yeah, I'm gonna walk back up now, I think. Uh, might go back to the flagpole. Maybe do a f something else, I don't know. Okay, so here's that wind. There's actually no wind right now, like at all. But look. The little thing's actually spinning. Look at that. Like, I don't feel any wind. I don't quite understand that. Look at that. I guess I will, maybe I'll do one more, like, and asking questions, you know, for electronic voice phenomena type stuff. Let's do it right now, I guess. So I'm in the middle by the flagpole again, and I guess here I go. Hello, is anyone there? Do you have a name? Um, how old are you? Uh, what kind of stuff, what kind of hobbies do you like? Uh, how many of you are there? Hmm. So I, I actually was gonna leave, but we walked back to this garbage can. And I realized the tree is actually really large that I walked by earlier. Look at that. And I'm thinking I'm going to leave the apple. Let me get the apple out of my pocket. Take the tag off. So take the tag off the apple. Okay, maybe just put it under that tree by the garbage, just in case. But where can the horse get it? Right there. Right, wait, where you're putting yep, the light? Yep, right there. Okay. So there's the apple right there. And I guess we'll just go back to the car. Might do some photography. We'll get the tripod and do some photos. And, uh, yeah. Look at that. There's no wind out here. <laughs> right? Look, on the trees, nothing. But look. Stand in front of it and see if it stops. If I block it, if there is any wind. All right, go ahead. I'm making it go faster. Did you hear that? Oops.
No, it is windy right here. It's only windy right there? Wait, out of the ground? Right here, it's windy. <laughs> Your hand there. Huh. So what we're doing, guys, is we're trying to figure out where the wind's coming from. And in this one spot, by this pinwheel, there's actually, like, wind coming from somewhere. I mean, there was no wind over here, but up by the, the pole, there's, like, wind coming out. Hmm. I don't know, kind of weird. Alright. Yeah. There you it's go. in front of it. Weird. So there's wind. There, it's going again. <laughs> yeah, it's coming down the hill. Hmm. Interesting. It's wafting where the smoke is. Well, when I was back in the back, there was a hot blast of air that came out from the woods. Hmm. All right. Some cars. With a truck, and then there was a car, and then you're like, there's a car. Yeah. But there 